so last week I went to Japan for business and I had uh, one day off. Uh, so I decided I would go uh, outside and uh, do some hiking maybe and take some pictures. Uh, and at some point uh, I was walking around and there was a nice mountain, it was about sunset. So I decided to uh, sit down and uh, take some pictures. Um, so on the foreground there was some nice rocks. Uh, so I decided I would do something I've never done before, which is uh, focus stacking. Uh, so I did all my things and when I came back home, uh, I didn't know how to stack all these pictures with my uh, Linux machine. So I had to do some research to uh, figure out uh, how to do that. Uh, so what I will share with you today is uh, how I managed to uh, get that picture. But I want to respect your time, so I need to let you know that the technique I will share today is not something I will do in the future. Uh, so it's not convenient at all, so part of it has to be done in the terminal. Uh, but when doing that, I've learned something that is much, much better and I will uh, share it with you in another video. So uh, if you don't want to miss it, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, so with that said, uh, let's start. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, I've created a virtual machine running uh, Linux Mint. Uh, so my main computer is running Arch, so I thought I would create a VM uh, running something Debian based. So uh, that video will be accessible to more people. Uh, so to do our focus stacking, we will need uh, three steps. Uh, so the first step will be that we will pre-process uh, all our pictures. Uh, then we will align them and finally we will stack everything. Uh, so to do that we will need a few softwares. Uh, so in Linux Mint we need to open the software center. Uh, the first software we will install is uh, Darktable. So uh, we can install it and that's the software we will use to pre-process uh, all, all our picture and export them as a TIFF file. Uh, then we will also need a software called Hugin. Uh, actually, we won't use that software, but we will use some of the dependencies. So for instance, uh, Enfuse, uh, that's the software we will use for, uh, for stacking. Okay, so once all the softwares are installed, uh, we can start with the pre-processing inside dark table. Uh, so if I open dark table, uh, you see I've already imported uh, all the pictures. Um, so if we look at the first one, you can see that the foreground is in focus, uh, but the background is blurry. Uh, also, if I show this, we can see the areas that are in focus. Uh, if I go and look at the last picture, now you can see that the foreground is uh, blurry, uh, but the background is in focus. So our goal today will be to stack all these images together and create a final picture that will be sharp from bottom to top. So. Uh, what I've done, so I've done some pre-processing. Uh, the only modules I've added are uh, some sharpening. Uh, then I've added hot pixel removal, cr uh, chromatic aberration, uh, lens correction, denoise. I've also adjusted for exposure. Uh, so that's why the image look, uh, look fine right now. Uh, but if let's say we look at the original, uh, it was looking like this before all my modifications. So after the modification, it's looking like this and I need to apply these settings to all of my pictures. Uh, so to do that, what I do is I go there and I open my history stack right there. Uh, one thing I've noticed is if you do copy, it won't, it won't copy the lens correction. So what I had to do is to click on um, selective copy right there check my uh, lens correction and then click on OK. So if now I select everything and I do, uh, yeah, let's see, let's do paste selective and make sure everything there is fine. So everything looks fine if I click OK. 
uh, the setting I apply to the first picture will be applied to all of the following uh, images. Uh, so now, with that done, uh, we need to export them as uh, TIFF files. Uh, so the TIFF file will then be used for alignment and stacking. So to do that, we go to the export module. Uh, we could export them as a J JPEG and uh, do all our stacking with JPEG, but um, I think after the picture has been stacked, uh, I like to do some more processing. So uh, exporting them as a TIFF file and then processing the TIFF file will give me more uh, flexibility. So that's why I will export everything as a TIFF file. I will use a 16 bin, uh, 16 bit, sorry and inside integer, uh, I won't use any compression because uh, the compression will slow uh, the entire process and because these are just uh, temporary files, I will delete them uh, later so uh, I don't need to save any space there uh, so I will just uncompress to save on the on the processing time uh, so then all, all the remaining settings are fine so I will click on export uh, because this is in a VM, uh, it will take some time, so uh, I will cut the video and uh, get back to you when everything has been exported. Okay, so now all our pictures have been exported, so uh, sorry, they are all uh, in my picture folder, focus stack and under dark table export. Uh, so there we can see we have all our TIFF files uh, that were pre-processed with the uh, dark table. So now the next step uh, will be done in the terminal and we will use uh, this command. So the command is uh, align image stack uh, and there will be a few parameters. So if we look at the manual, we can see that the, one of the parameter was uh, dash M. So we will optimize for field of view. Uh, we also have uh, dash A. So that's a prefix we will uh, add to our align images. Uh, we will also have a dash V for verbose. Uh, so yeah, if I enter this, you will see I also have a start uh, .tiff. This means we will uh, align all the images that ends with the uh, TIFF. Okay, so before we align everything, uh, we need to go inside our uh, pictures directory. So we see the pictures, uh, everything is inside a focus stack and then dark table exported. So if I do ls -L -H, uh, you can see we have uh, all these TIFF files, so right now we are inside this directory. So if I copy uh, my common, uh, what will happen is that all the TIFF files that are inside that folder will be aligned. So if I start it, uh, because we, uh, we added the dash V, we can see that uh, everything that is happening with this common. Uh, so I will, uh, this might take some time, so uh, I will let you know when it's done. Okay, so our command is completed. Uh, we can see that uh, new files were created with the prefix uh, align. Uh, so if we look inside the folder, we can see we have our new pictures that have been aligned and we still have our old uh, pre-processed pictures that aren't aligned. Uh, one thing I suggest doing is to uh, open your align images and make sure they are fine. Uh, because if for some reason the alignment didn't work, uh, then you will waste time stacking everything. Okay, so now we are ready to do uh, the focus stacking. And to do so, we will use uh, the package called infuse and we will use that command. Uh, so there are a few parameters we will use with that command. So for instance, uh, exposure weight at zero, saturation weight at zero, uh, meaning that we won't use uh, saturation or exposure to create mask, uh, but we will use contrast uh, instead uh, because the weight is uh, one. Uh, then we will, uh, the file output will be named like this. Um, and to the, the images you, we want to stack, 
or uh, all start with align. Uh, the asterisk right there means that uh, everything that start with align and finish with the tiff uh, will be stacked. Uh, so basically we will only fuse our images that are aligned. Uh, so this will, will take a while because I'm inside my VM. So uh, once again I will speed things up uh, and I will let you know once the, once the command is, uh, is completed. Okay, so now uh, everything has been stacked, so our new file uh, will have been created. So if we go in our folder, we can see that it's uh, right there. Uh, so if we open it, uh, we can now see our picture. Uh, if we zoom in, we can see that uh, in the foreground, everything is in focus and in the background everything is in focus as well so our focus stack was uh, successful so we can then uh, import this tiff file into a dark table or raw therapy and do our final editing okay so i hope you uh, enjoyed the video uh, and as I said uh, at the beginning, uh, there is a better way for doing this and it's to do it inside the dark table. Uh, so the next video I will upload will be, uh, will be about that. Uh, so uh, if, you, if you want to see uh, how to do this, uh, make sure to like and subscribe and see you next time.